is the saddest thing you've ever seen in your whole life. It's even sadder when I had to leave my precious Portuguese payment family. When I was a petite little baby playing in South America. Oh my god. <laughs> Papa, stop it. You never lived in South America. It's too hot for us down there. Piggy, why are you so jealous of my Portuguese, Portuguese penguin park? You don't know what you talk about. My country is full of penguins. <laughs> All right, you two, simmer down. But Pinky is right. Those kids really want to have a Christmas party really bad, and you can't because it's some sort of career rule. And why do they call it political correctness? Well, it's political <laughs> craziness, if you ask me. I don't understand why humans are making up more and more silly old rules like that. I kind of like the idea of heading over to the snack shop. You never know when they might have one of those pop tarts. They're my favorites. What if they said Pico de Gallo today? Pico de Gallo and chips. You know, they talked about Christmas, but not even mentioned Jesus. He's the only reason we have Christmas. You're right, Cody. There wouldn't even be Christmas if Jesus had it come. Humans think they're so smart, but we understand things way better than they do. Well, we know that God made us and that we are connected to him. And to me, it's just so simple to understand that we should do all we can to honor him and show our gratitude for all he's done for us, especially for sending Jesus to the world. That lady kept on using the word holiday instead of Christmas. Well, the truth about Christmas is black and white. The word holiday sounds pretty great to me. In my beautiful Brazil, South America, everyone would say Merry Christmas, Feliz Natal. And no one got upset. But remember the time Mama and Papa gave me extra little fishies for Christmas when I was a deceitful baby penguin in South America. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I believe that God made us penguins black and white to be a visible representation to the world that the truth of His word is black and white. I mean, yeah, Pinky, I never thought of this before, but it makes me feel even more beautiful. Well, it makes me feel even more hungry. Speaking of fishies, does anybody got some goldfish? I'm all up. It's not time for Papa to feed us lunch anyways. Fishies! Mama! Papa! Oh my god! <laughs> Found them! I was thinking it was getting close to lunch time. I can use a little something myself. Shh! I think you hear somebody coming. Positions, everybody. Aww, look how cute! They're making on costumes! Look! This one's some girl came off his head. Hey, that's kind of weird. Why don't you dress him up like that? You guys, don't get so close to them. What if they can attract some kind of weird penguin fight? That might make you make your head break out in the incurable rash and send you to remotes and seizures. <laughs> hey, cool. This thing is trying to talk to us. If we're going to make it in time for the Eskimo escapades, we better keep moving. Oh, yes. I hear that's one of the best attractions here. This is kind of be the best holiday party ever! Christmas! What was that? It was this penguin. It sounded like it said Christmas. Well, from the pink tutu I'd say this is the girl. And she's definitely trying to talk to us. Don't be silly. Penguins can't talk. <laughs> On the contrary, Russell Till, they are able to communicate with each other using a variety of different sounds. Well, there's no way that would just said Christmas. Night out! Ah, I've been contaminated! I need a tennis shot! Someone take me to the hospital! <laughs> Abby, chill out! Uh, children, we're gonna be late. Let's go. Come along, Abby! I think I'm getting a fever! Someone get my forehead! <laughs> wow, that was cute. What were you two trying to do? Well, I couldn't help it. When that lady said the word holiday, I had to let my black and white shot. In a donkey can talk in the Bible? Why can't I? I was just trying to be blessing and spread the joy of Feliz Natal. Well, next time, please try to control yourselves, would you? <laughs> anyway, I've got an idea. Come on. Don't be 
afraid. Too bad, too bad. So she got down in Bethlehem. So the shepherds went to worship him. Too bad, too bad. Show you what to do. Yeah, yeah. God's worship. 